Alright. Look at this beauty. Uh, Tanaka 175. And the guy told me that it had never been used. Well, I don't know. I, I can see it. Uh, maybe. Looks like, uh, what did he pay here? Dollar, uh, $199 at G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe's hasn't been around in 20 years. I would think this is maybe 80s or 90s. I don't see a lot of wear. There is some, I think this is where maybe some fuel has spilled out. But let's see, let me get this up on here. Take a look. that's on there but uh, it is clean I'll tell you that it definitely this must be the choke there's the pickhawk <laughs> let's go take a look at the box Came with a really nice tank. It is brand new. It's a quality one. It's got the glass bead on there, but no hose. So that's that's a nice thing to have. Here's the box. Yeah, the original box, TOB 175. And then in here is the directions. Let's take a peek. There we go. Came with these stainless steel clamps, screwdriver, a 10 and a 13, and a 19. And, uh, Oh, let's look at the prop. Yeah, the prop actually looks super clean. There's some, definitely gone into, so it's been used. So it's hit the sand, see that? But not much. How many horses is it? 1.75 horse. Look at that beauty. If anybody needs a copy of this, just hit me up and I'll uh, make a copy of it on my printer and send you a copy. I'd love to hear from somebody that might have one of these motors, see if they like it. Um, it's a two cycle. Okay, so we do have to mix the fuel. 50 to 1 mixture. This is what I was looking at, looking for. So let's get that done. While we mix that fuel, let's get some water going in this tank. There we go. All right, well, we don't have that much gas. Huh? All right down some different gas so this should do it and while this fills up I'm gonna try and get this see if that stain will come off I don't think it's gonna give this a once over Cleaned up nice, but that stain right there, which I think was from years of it sitting in its own floor. So it cleans up pretty nice. I think that stain is permanent and I think it's from just fuel.
coming out of it um, and sitting in its own fuel there in storage. But uh, the more I look at this, it, if it's been used much, uh, I'd be very, very surprised. There's the vent. Boy, that cap is on there. All right, I got it. Wow, it's very clean in there. I don't smell any fuel at all. Starting to rain a little. We're getting, making progress on the water down there. Open up that breather. Now, where do we check the oil on this thing? Well, we got gas down here at our pitcock. Well, I guess primarily the oil's in the fuel. Let me go see the directions. Starting procedures, open air vent, which I did, feeler cap on the feeler cap, open fuel shutoff valve, open throttle grip to half throttle, move choke lever to on. When starting the outboard, the boat, the boat will move with a sudden burst of speed. Be careful. Okay, so I'm seeing here. Yeah, 50 to one. Open air vent on fuel feeler cap. Open fuel shutoff valve. Open throttle grip to half throttle. Move choke lever to on. Okay. Running cold start. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready. As soon as we get some, I think this has got to be there. Right there's the. Right there's the. Uh, Lot fuel level. Our tank is really stable now. Put this, put these tools back away. All right, well, we're just now starting over that hump. Getting exciting. What do you think? Think it's gonna fire? Hey, babe, you think it's gonna fire? You do? I will bet you that this thing's been sitting for 15, 20 years. Probably hasn't even been touched. So we'll see. I'm excited. All right, here we go.
Uh-oh. All right.